But uh, I'm just going with Milena to look after some dogs in Sarajevo. First met for the first time, and this is where she lives. Right up there. So now we're going to learn about what she does. Let's have a look. So tell me, Milena, what are we doing this evening? Is this the puppy? Yeah. This is the puppy that Milena lost this morning. Sorry, no. No, no, no. What was his name? Uh, Belly. 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 Yes. How old? Uh, five months. Five I months old. Oh dear. He was hit by a car. And uh, he had amputation of uh, his leg. An amputated and leg. that, I don't know what happened. He was there. He was okay. Uh, well, in a 24 hours. And that died this morning. Okay. That's the start of my trip to feed um, some of the street dogs of Sarajevo. Seeing a dead, a dead puppy in the back of the car. Yeah, here we go. Okay, we've just got in the car in Sarajevo and I've only met Milena for the very first time and I've just seen the puppy that, um, that died this morning. He's only five months old and had his leg amputated and she doesn't understand why he died. So I'm not sure what we're doing, but we're going to go 10 kilometers outside Sarajevo. 10 or 15, I don't know. Okay. There are a lot of dogs and anybody don't do them. They are very hungry, sick. I saw it. Uh, a lot of from that area, but okay. I cannot. So these are so these are stray dogs. Um, yes. And then we you go to find them and, and feed them. Svakidan. Every, uh, no, no, I cannot go. No. Uh, uh, every day, no, okay. no. Okay. One day in a week. Uh, Just to try to help them survive. Yeah. And how many dogs do you think you? How many dogs do you think you feed in one week? Oh. I cannot tell you. There are a lot of uh, uh, places I go. I go. You you will see. Okay. You will see. Uh, sometimes was two hundred dogs last year. Uh, after I I noticed that some somebody uh, poisoned them, killed them. Yeah, poisoned them, uh, shot yes, them. And now maybe a hundred dog around okay. around. We can go. So. In Sarajevo in 2013, um, people poison dogs, kill them. Um, I've, I, I see people kicking them and I, and, and I, I, I personally always stroke the stray dogs. Um, uh, some people here kick on them and, and, uh, and spit on them. Uh, right then, some more later. We're going 10 or 15 kilometres outside Sarajevo now, I think, so let's see what happens. Just offloaded about about ten big cans of dog food there. So was the guy saying he's told the police about and Nishta? Nothing. Yeah, the guys told the police that uh, being stray dogs got shot and um, nothing. Yeah, you can see the dog, dogs here now that this guy looks after. Some of the strays and they're staying all up this end of the village. Um, but about 15 of them have been shot dead by one guy. There's another beautiful looking dog right here. Oh yeah, look at that.
I've been on, uh, on on really bad roads now, so not only are we doing uh, doing good stuff by looking after some dogs, but this lady must be doing this in all sorts of places around Sarajevo, and the um, the roads are terrible, as you can see by the speed we're going and and the way the car's moving. So and um, having seen them. Um, Seeing the puppy that we lost this morning and seeing how emotional um, Elena is about the dogs and telling me that she's been doing this for 20 years. Is, um, there's, a, there's a street dog right there. Uh -huh. quite and I... Just check. Yes. Here, there is one woman who doesn't let me to... to she to doesn't want to let you help the dogs? He, he, he took a lot of dogs to stop them. He wanted to, to feed me. And he told me, don't feed them. I don't present here. <laughs> She's just telling me that a guy um, I, I catch. has actually threatened her um, and hit her when she's been trying to feed the dogs up here. She's told her not to feed the dogs. Um, and we are getting up into the hills where the police ain't anywhere around. Um, here. Poison the dogs. Yeah. Ah, and here's the first customer. Let's get out of the car and see. Come on. Oh no. Chet. is cautious near the food. She's obviously frightened because the guy's coming down in the car. I'm afraid of this. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a tractor, so we're going to go quickly because he might have a gun on the shot. Tractor. What about where about 20, 20 dogs, a lot of puppies, uh -huh. and uh, you know, and people they can kill me. No, I, I go to speak with a woman who don't let, let me to, 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 to feed them. Okay, look, he's so yeah, excited he's, to see you. Yeah, yeah. He knows you. Brilliant. So, we, we were, when we were feeding the dogs there, some guys came down in a van. They wanted to run through the dog food so the dogs couldn't eat it. Um, um, she asked them to please leave the dogs alone, so they could eat. Amazing. Um, oh. And now... Hvala vam, izvinite kad je uzak, 
We're going to meet a woman, I think, that doesn't like dogs. Uh, or threatened to poison the dogs around here. Hey. 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 Hey, man. You want something to eat? <laughs> Aren't you a beautiful boy? Oh man, you're thin. Oh Jesus. Thin, aren't you? Aren't you beautiful. You feel your back. Uh-huh. Oh, the Hey. Come on. Oh, no, 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 The lady from the house has just told us um, not to bother going any further up the hill because um, all the dogs up there are dead. I'm not sure if they've been killed or, or what, so we'll find out in a while, I guess. But for right now, these two are still really hungry. Oh, look out. Oh, she's beautiful. Beautiful dog look. Oof. It's okay. Oof. We just got to another place and started whistling, and no dogs came. And the first thing she, I could see in her face was that she thought they were all dead, and you should have seen the elation in Melena's face when uh, you saw the three dogs coming. Hey, ciao, ciao, ciao. Most, most of them. Mush! Yes! Mush! Mush!
See how hungry the dogs are and how nervous they are of human beings. And that's just because of the cruelty to them. Some of the younger dogs seem a little less timid, but those big dogs are really, really wary of humans over there. And there are more customers coming. <laughs> Feed another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine dogs here. Ten. There's, there's another black one coming over there. Hmm? Um, there's a guy coming down, a young guy coming down on a mobile phone. Uh, we'll see if whether or not he's got a problem with it. Has been here feeding the dogs. Hopefully not. Otherwise, I might have to kick his ass. Don't let the grey hail fool you, young man. I will kick your ass. More than ten dogs now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, ten dogs all together. And they're all really hungry. There's another black one that's just been chased away by that dog there. They really are like wild animals. It's a dog that just chased the black one away. He's obviously coming up back. Come on. Um, we just stopped. There's two ewes over there in the distance. Um, and then they told me there were a lot of dogs here last time she came. Um, she's it was just saying to the. She's, she seems to approach everybody. She's just talking to a guy down there that lives there. She's asking questions about what's happened to the dogs. Um, and she's stopping and educating people about what she's trying to achieve so saying please don't hurt the dogs please don't poison the dogs um, and she's trying to catch uh, female dogs to get them sterilized uh, and she lives um, in the apartment that I showed you at the very beginning she's since told me she's I think she's got five or seven dogs in there now which she's had up to 17 dogs in there and she's achieved international adoptions in Italy UK Slovenia um, so, whilst I don't really think I want to become um, a crisis dog unit, I do think that if anybody sees this video and um, that I make, I'm going to make a small movie of this, I think, because I think it needs to be made. Uh, there's a woman here who's 63 years old who, since the war, has just tried to save dogs. Um, and she gets threats. Um, uh, she said that she's even been threatened to be, um, to be shot. If she, if she doesn't stop feeding the dogs, man, some lovely little puppies have just come out of a building from over here. So I'm going to catch up and see that they're all really timid. So she said there were about 20 dogs here um, last time. There are four so far and two looked like they're weeks old. Yeah, they are definitely weeks old. They can't be more than, they're definitely not more than 12 weeks old. They look like between about 10, maybe 10 weeks old. Ah. Some of the bigger dogs are coming over, but here's, here's the small dogs look. Here are the small wild dogs that we're going to feed right now. Oh, 
or from, because the dogs came from over here. That's how we're going to feed them. There's another dog coming from over there, look, but they're all so timid. Um, and, I, and I'm guessing that's because, uh, because humans are killing them. Madness. Wouldn't accept this in the UK. Just not acceptable anywhere. But if the government got to do it, you've got it's left to people like uh, this girl. Oh, uh, there's a lot of other dogs coming out of the woodwork now. There two of the other big dogs that were just fed have been fed, but they're going to come and bully this little pack, I think. Yeah, they are. Yeah, these boys are coming in from over the road, and they're going to muscle in on the feed, I think. And look at these poor little puppies. And there are only two of them, so... OK. Yeah, the dogs are eating now, so... Oh, look at the little pup in the background wagging his tail because he's got some food. <laughs> hey, hey. Hey, oh my God. It's not often that wild dog will come to you. Hello. He's not sure though. See? Come on. You just want some love, don't you? I can see it. But it's too shy. Come on. Hey. Love. Hey. Love you. Hey, oh, come on, Moshe, Moshe, Bash, Bash, Moshe, Moshe. Stray dog that just obviously wants stroking, but he's so frightened he didn't come. Come on, come on, pal. Yeah. He's not from Stray. Uh, next off, there are lots of dogs, and these little boys are friendly. I don't know why. So he, he's not, he's, he's nasty. There's a couple of alpha dogs here by the looks of it, and they're all hungry. Hey, and you're sick, aren't you? Hey? Oh, man, you're... Stop, you're in here, Now we're in Milena's house. And these are some of the dogs that she's rescued. Come on then. She's from Gladno Falling. She entered in my car and she, she didn't hey. want to, to, to go, to go leave. outside. Hey. And uh, she's so. from Crash. He's from one very bad area, but it, now it's my dog. She's my dog. There you know. A lot of my dogs left. Yes. In England, Slovenia. Come on then. And she will go in the, um, uh, this week she will go in the, in the England. Into England? Yes. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. So from Sarajevo, we're not only feeding dogs, on, uh, Milena is um, basically getting adoptions to, uh, to all over Europe. And has just told me that she spends all of her money on uh, dog food and none on herself. So we're going to call her the crazy street dog woman from Sarajevo. <laughs> uh, but a good woman. Um, it's 20 past 10 at night now, we've been out for about four hours and we have found our last group of customers that need feeding.
my barn hole. And we're looking for an adoption for this 